If you've ever tried composting eggshells, you know that they take a really long time to decompose. Eggshells are rich in calcium, but in this form, that calcium is not easily absorbed by plants. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own calcium-rich fertilizer that your plants are gonna love. I'm Christina with Forever Food Forest, where we explore ways of growing food without the use of pesticides, herbicides, or commercial fertilizers. Instead, we use permaculture principles such as companion planting and understory planting to grow food that's good for the planet and good for the garden. So first thing you're gonna do is you're going to gather your eggshells. I have a little container that I keep here by the sink. Every time I make breakfast, I take the eggshells, I rinse them and I put them in here. Once this is overflowing, that's when I start processing them. So once this is full, I take the eggshells and I lay them out on the baking sheet try to make it nice and even and i bake them in the oven for about two to three hours at 200 degrees after about two hours i take them out once they're cool to the touch i'm going to blend them using this handy dandy blender we're just gonna put them in here And we're just gonna pulverize these into a fine powder. Mmm, eggshell smoothie. So I take my powder, I put it in a jar, and then I just take the vinegar, regular old white vinegar, pour the vinegar in here, and look at that. It's a beautiful chemical reaction. I like white vinegar, it's easily available. You can get it at any grocery store and it's fairly cheap. And so what's happening right now is the calcium carbonate that the eggshell is made out of. The carbonate is being released as carbon dioxide. And then all we have is water soluble calcium, which is what we want. Remember in school when you combine baking soda and vinegar to make a volcano? It's kind of what you're doing here. This is the portion of the video where I show you all the things that could go wrong. The ideal ratio for the eggshell fertilizer mixture is about 10 parts vinegar to one part eggshell. Right here I have half a cup of powdered eggshells and this is five cups of white vinegar. This right here is a 10 cup vessel. Let's see what happens when we take our eggshells and mix 10 parts vinegar. Look at that. It's starting to look a little sketchy. And here we go. So we're just gonna put that in here. And when you're doing this at home, I would recommend doing it in small batches. You can always add more vinegar. What I like to do is I like to take a smaller container and slowly dissolve the eggshells instead of doing everything in one fell swoop and then having to deal with a giant mess on my hands. You could also use a bigger bucket, but this is just a warning to you guys in case you're thinking that you're just gonna do everything at once and make it simple. Remember, when you cut corners, it ends up costing you more in the long run. After about 10 minutes, your mixture is going to settle down a bit, and at that point, you can transfer it into a jar. Uh, acetic acid in vinegar is a weak acid, and it's going to continue acting on the eggshells here for about the next two weeks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a coffee filter. You can also use a cloth. Just make sure that whatever you use, that it is breathable. And I'm going to put this jar away for about two weeks. Um, and during that time, the vinegar is going to dissolve all of these eggshells on the bottom. And you will know it's dissolved because your mixture will look like this. It looks like oat milk, actually. 
Now you cannot use this straight because it is full of vinegar and it's gonna be way too strong for your plants. So what I like to do is I like to dilute it. Uh, we can dilute it about one ounce to a gallon. So right here I have my diluted mixture and we're just gonna pour it in here. And we're just gonna apply it as a spray onto the leaves. Apply it to both sides. Make sure we have nice coverage. And this lets the tomato absorb it much faster. Make sure to get both sides of the leaves, the tops and the bottoms. You wanna do this either in the evening or early in the morning when the plants are not heat stressed because that is when your plants are going to be most receptive to this treatment. So if you happen to have a lot of eggshells and you end up with a lot of eggshell fertilizer concentrate, here are some ways you can utilize it in the garden. You can dilute, dilute it in large batches and use that dilution to hydrate your compost pile. That way you're making it, uh, making the calcium available for uh, your plants down the road. You can also use um, the calcium dilution to water your plants directly or you can make a foliar spray. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something and let me know in the comments below if you have tried this method before and how has that worked out for you. Um, and if you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe.